good Sunday morning and happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. I'm News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith taking a look at downtown Columbia. We're looking at mostly sunny skies right now. 70 degrees, our current temperature, definitely on the humid side, our dew point at 68. That's a lot of moisture in the air and that could lead to a couple afternoon thunderstorm chances. Taking a preview of today, 87 will be our high temperature with a 30% chance of afternoon showers and storms. So let's break down what we can expect as you go throughout the end of your weekend here. Light winds out of the south and southwest right now, but that's going to change as the cold front moves through actually in the first half of the day. That's going to set the stage for some afternoon afternoon showers and storms, especially in the southern Midlands around 1 to 3 p.m. That's what I'll be watching there. You can see this is 3 o'clock in the afternoon and we're starting to see some of that shower and storm activity in places like Calhoun, Orangeburg and Clarendon counties, even towards Sumter to the north. You're probably dry at this point and will be a little bit warmer as well. Middle to upper 80s north of I-20 probably lower to middle 80 south of the interstate in the afternoon here. As we go a little bit later on, our forecast model is putting a couple of stray showers as we head towards the evening, something we'll have to keep an eye on. But overall, not a washout today. Things are looking pretty good if you have any outdoor plans. So maybe heading out to the lake. Temperatures will be in the middle 80s for the most part with a light wind out of the northwest with those afternoon showers and storms possible, although not really likely at this point. Taking a look at Darlington, if you're heading out to the race later today, you can see partly cloudy skies, and with that, we're on the warmer side, middle 80s. We could see a stray shower storm during this period, but I think overall, things should be dry for the race, looking pretty good up that way. Let's take a look at what's going on, though. We have a cold front moving through today very slowly. This is actually going to stall out in the area as we go into tomorrow, so this is going to serve as an access for precipitation, really, as we go throughout the next couple of days, which means we're going to keep that rain chance around pretty much every afternoon. That's going to be the case on Monday. Tuesday looks to be the wetter day now, so things have shifted a little bit from Monday into Tuesday, where we see at least the better chance of shower and storm activity as you go through this week and it looks like pretty much every day this week is going to have the chance of rain. The good news is, is that keeps our temperatures right around, if not below where we should be for this time of the year. So take a look at those temperatures. You can see we are warm day 87, but then we are cooling off drastically as you go through the beginning of next week. A 30% chance of isolated storms today with a high of 87, and then we keep that storm and shower chance around with temperatures in the low to middle 80s as you go into next week.